Hey everyone, welcome back. As always, I'm Mythic. Uh, wanna go into a new video today. Uh, for those of you who know, we play a lot of Zelda Link to the Past randomizers here on the channel. And part of that when you're streaming or playing the game is it's handy to know where you've been, where you haven't been, how to track what you're doing. So that's for yourself or to show that on stream. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do that with a really cool little application called Emo Tracker. Um, yeah. We're basically going to go through it. I'm going to show you how to set it up. It's really easy to so stick around if you want to find out how to do it. For starters, we're going to roll an intro. Go. Hi, everyone. Welcome back after that short little intro. Um, as always, um, we're going to go through something that hopefully is going to help you out. Uh, it's something that I've looked at uh, and went through the setting up process myself. Uh, and I want to basically share that with you and hopefully it'll be helpful. Um, one, I'm going to stop saying um. Two, if you do find this helpful, don't forget to like the video. It makes a massive difference to the channel that like on the video. Maybe put a comment down if there's something else you want to see. If there's something you want to tell me about, put it in the comments. It's really helpful. And if you do like the content that I make and you want to not miss us whenever we go live, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. There's tons of stuff going on over the Discord. There's links in the description as always. But let's get straight to it, shall we? So let's get over to a better view so you guys and girls can see what we're looking at. So we're going to look at this page over here. This is Emo Tracker. So it, as you can see from the top, junk emotracker.net what you're going to do is you're going to go and download this piece of software it's absolutely brilliant um, so you can go to the download section here download it uh, it's great you know these guys are superb they put so much work into their application it looks great it's just real so go give them some love go get their app um Go follow them on Instagram and Twitch and all that sort of fun stuff and, and, and give them some love about their app because they put a lot of effort into it. So once you've downloaded it, you end up with, let me just close this down for a second, you end up with this beauty here, okay? Well, you don't end up with this. You need to download some bits first. So what you do is once it's downloaded, uh, literally just click on this package manager icon here. You'll get a separate window. This is where you can download bits and bobs that you're after. So these are all the current bolt-ons. For various bits and bobs for all the sort of randomizers there's zelda final fantasy stuff super mario 64 mario rpg anything that's basically had a randomizer made out of it super metroid which is incredibly popular as well so i'm pretty much uh randomizing zelda at the moment it's one of the main things i run on the channel so um i would recommend by starting off downloading this one here which is the emo tracker official alt ttp support which is a link to the past uh, you might see it called alt t t well a l t t p r a link to the past randomizer as well but for this instance download this and this is going to give you the ability to track with standard maps key sanity and inverted seeds as well i've downloaded the pug hard as well which i believe i'm assuming i i i'm this is assumption i very much assume though it's the one that andy lasso uses if you don't know who andy is uh go check out his stream on twitch it's just andy he's brilliant he's incredibly entertaining uh, go give that guy some love because he's superb in my opinion someone i enjoy watching very much and someone i subscribe to so yeah go check him out um so this will then give you the ability to have this sort of shenanigans going on here okay all you need to do basically to get it set up when i can grab hold of it because apparently my stream won't let me get hold of it what's going on okay ah that's why because this is done up right cool we're good I was kind of like, why can't I close it down? It's because it hasn't closed down the window. You can select all your settings from here. So you installed packages. We've just installed a link to the past stuff. And this is, we've just installed this Emo Tracker official one here. Okay. So we've got the option to track standard maps, a key sanity map, an inverted map. Most people are doing standard at the moment. They might do up. But if you can turn on standard map tracking, now what this gives you is basically when you're running along, it will give you the ability to highlight these things within your stream. Uh, it's pretty, pretty damn good. Um, what you can also do is you can drag it out from the corner and you'll even get the ability to see your locations on the map, which is pretty cool. OK, so you've got your maps going on here. OK, and when you visit the locations, they will slowly disappear. 
Um, items that are green are accessible. Uh, other items require conditions uh, to get to them. So orange, so Zora is locked condition by 500 coins. Uh, this is locked by coins. Uh, Sahasrila is locked by uh, pendant. Uh, all, uh, Hobo is locked by flippers uh, and so on and so forth. So you get different colors, which is pretty damn helpful as well, to be honest with you. Um, so that's really cool. That's really helpful. And as you go along, right, okay, this is great. This is all relatively easy to sort of pick what you want to do. I want to show you how you can link it uh, to your game. It's pretty straightforward. Let me just move this off the screen. I'm going to open up the package what I use to run, which is a uh, package called uh, BizHawk. Okay. Uh, I, th I really like it. It's known to be one of the most accurate uh, emulators. Um, SNES 9X is probably the most widely used, but this is probably known as to be one of the most accurate ones. So if we open, for example, here, okay, let's just try and put these both on the screen so you can have a look. So if I open up file, open a ROM, uh, and I'm going to open up one of our Mystery Monday seeds. If you don't know what Mystery Monday is, it's something we run through the Discord. Um, basically, each week um, I generate a seed. It's generated totally at random. Uh, you get a week to run it. You get to submit a time, and then you get epic bragging rights. You get a tweet, and you get a shout out on the stream, and it's lots and lots of fun. So uh, jump over to the Discord, link in the description to achieve that. I'm going to load up week three seed which is what I'll be running this evening, which is what Monday the 2nd this will be, okay? So we've got our seed loading up over here, okay? That's all happening, brilliant, fantastic, marvellous. So that's loading up, uh, and then we've got our MO tracker over here. We're just going to put this a little bit smaller so you can see both things on screen. There we go. So we've got our MO tracker here. To get them linked together and doing their bit, what you need to do is this, okay? So down here in the corner, you've got this little robot head shenanigans going on. You're going to click, you're going to right click on that, should I say. And under SNES, we're going to go to Lua, L-U-A. You're going to click that, okay? What will happen is the little robot head down here will go yellow. And then in your package, BizHawk, this is specific for, under SNES 9X, you go to File, uh, and then New Lua, I think it's New Lua Command or New Lua Console. But for this, so I think under Tools, we're going to go to Lua Console, okay? Uh, I want to open up a new script, okay? You go to wherever you've installed your Emo Tracker. My Emo Tracker is stored under my streaming section. So Streaming, Emo Tracker, okay? Let's so open up the folder. And then there's a folder in here called Connectors. Open up that. SNES 9X or BizHawk. I'm using BizHawk, so I'm going to go to BizHawk, and there's this Lua here called Connector. So I'm going to click that, and I'm going to click Open, okay? And it will say, Lua Console, blah, 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 Lua Sock, Connection Established. You need to leave this open so you can just minimize it, but now what you'll see is this little robot head down here has turned green. That means it's connected, it means it's ready to use, and so on and so forth, okay? So that works really, really well. You can then start your game, start running around, and it will highlight your bits and bobs down here. So it'll highlight your stuff down here when you're running, which is Brill. It'll mark your stuff on the map as you go around, which is Brill. And you can do exactly the same thing by activating different elements. If you're doing a key sanity element, you can access the key sanity version of it as well, and it'll be absolutely blooming fantastic. What I do want to go into very quickly, though, is how you would set this up for um, your stream as well. So I'm going to turn it into my streamed version. So I use the PugHud version, and I believe this is a Key Sanity seat. So I'm going to turn on Key Sanity. Uh, this is going to have a mini freak out because that's what happens. Snares, Lua console. We're going to turn the Lua back on. Uh, we're going to get our Lua console back up again from over here. Uh, where are you, Mr. Lua Console? There we go. So we're going to stop this one, and we're going to open up another Lua Console just to make sure we're all good. Okay. There's. Turn our Lua Console on. And then we're going to open up a new Lua connection. We're going to go back exactly the same way as before. Emo Tracker, Connectors, BizHawk connector and it's gonna connect 
See, right, this is what happens sometimes, connection refused, okay? Now, what I find the easiest way to do this, okay, is restart your game, okay? Close your connector down, okay, and get rid of this. So get back to the beginning again. So we're going to get back to the beginning, okay? We're going to launch our game. Game's launched. Okay, what you can find sometimes is, see how this isn't going yellow? It means it's not quite starting. Close my tracker down. Okay. Reopen it. Um, for some reason being, sometimes the lure just doesn't want to play the game. I, it just doesn't. I don't know why. Now it's gone yellow again. I think it's the way that they communicate together. It might be me doing it wrong. But however, this works. Okay. Nine times out of ten, if you're connecting under the right thing, it's absolutely fine. So we're literally just going to go tools again. We're going to do a new Lua connection. We're going to open up a new connection. We're going to go to where our MO tracker is. We're going to go to connectors. We're going to go to BizHawk, and we're going to open our connector. Dunk. Connection established. Minimize that. We're all good. We're now all set up for our key sanity. There is also the option for a broadcast version. So I want to show how you can do this with uh, Streamlabs. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to move my Streamlabs on here and you're going to get a million versions of me. But if I now go to my broadcast version as if I was broadcasting a randomizer, which is uh, this view here, um, you can see I would usually have my chat uh, in the window down here. Um, and then let me just move that over here. So this is what happens. And then you would usually have your broadcast uh, down below that okay so what i'm going to do now is uh i'm going to uh, activate my uh thing so if i go back over to my other view so you guys can see what's going on again okay um what i want to show you is how we can link this in all you're doing is you're just picking it up as an element within the page so down here, I've got all my elements. I've got my randomizer section down here. Um, and then basically, we want to add it to it um, as basically just a window. So you just literally add it as an application and position it where you want. So for example, I'm just going to position this one now for you. Um, there you go. So I've positioned mine down here. So this is what you're seeing. So this in here you get this you can see all the key sanity elements i've trimmed it up i've actually made the background transparent as well um all i've done is literally just picked it out as a color um and then yeah and then basically assigned it a value in it and it sort of works and, and works quite well um and then this will track everything if i open up uh my game full screen as well uh you can see that that's where that would sit as well which is cool so yeah, that sits in the center of there. It all looks blooming fantastic. Uh, and the, yeah, I can go and run my seed and look like a boss doing it. Um, yeah, that's about as complicated as it gets. Um, so yeah, let's just go back. Let's just recap and get everything, uh, everything, should I say, going where we should get it. All right, let's have a look. Let's uh, minimize that uh, and go back to this view. There we go, excellent. So basically what I've opened up here is I've opened up um, another version. This is called Broadcast View. So it's just slightly more minimized if you're capturing a screen. So this one's got all your robot head for your connectors on uh, and all your controls. This is just a more minimized view. So this is the window I'm capturing. So you literally just add a window capture. You literally just mm, cap capture an application, specific application, and then capture this bad boy here and it'll uh, work a treat. Apart from that, that's how you get Immo Tracker working on your computer. Uh, let me go back to another view so I can see what's going on. There we go. Excellent. That's basically how you install Immo Tracker, track it, get it in your stream, get it working, download all your stuff. That's amazing. Let me just uh, quiet Zelda in the background as well. That might be quite a good idea. Uh, apart from that, hopefully that helped. It was a very quick video, uh, a very uh, straightforward video. It's not that hard. I just wanted just to explain how you connect these things because uh, it's not totally obvious. Uh, and I thought, sod it, I want to make a video. So I did. Anyway, 
Hopefully that helps. Thank you so much for watching. If it really did help, put a like on the video. If you want to know more about tracking on Emo Tracker, ask me down in the comments below. I'll do my very best to answer all your questions. Um, and if you haven't subscribed already, smash the subscribe button because then you'll never miss when we go live as well. Apart from that, stick around for more videos at the end. On the card, there'll be two more recommended videos. Do have a look, see if there's any content that you might end up missing if you don't stick around. And I will catch you in the next video after the break. See you later. Peace. Ciao. Three, two, one, go! Have fun, it's just a game.